Hey guys, Cobra here. Welcome back to another Ray Shadow Legends video. This one will be on the test server. We've got two new Void Champions coming in with the fusion for Vlad the Nightborn. So Vlad's coming in and also Constantine the Dayborn. So we're going to have like a yin and yang kind of champions. I've geared them, played a little bit with these champions. And uh, my honest opinion for Void Legendary Champions is that they're weaker than they should have been. Especially Vlad since he is like a... I can't remember the last Void uh, fusion that we had. Vlad should have been a little bit stronger in my opinion, especially his A3 skills. So if you remember the video that I posted on going through his skills, his skills haven't changed on the test server. They might change on the release. I don't know. <laughs> they might even up the multipliers because they did up the multipliers since they've released them on the test server for us to play through them. So they were quite weak. We told them they were weak and then they up the multipliers, but I still feel that they hit a little bit less than they should. So the way that I have when testing them together is I have Vlad in more of a support role than like a damage role, but then I'll switch Vlad ahead and his gear to test him out. So we'll be testing both champions together. Let me just go and show you, let's say Vlad the Nightborn. His skills look amazing, by the way. Um, I just tested him and <laughs> His skills look amazing, but honestly, he should have been a bigger and, and stronger hitter, to be honest. So let's see. I'll put this on a 1x. Just see his, his um, let's see his A1 first. But it's his A2, honestly, that that uh, that really got me to say, I, I need this champion. So look at his, his A2 here. Look at that, the bats. And then he just throws the bats on them, decreases the Terminator. And then we'll see his big A3, which is the decreased defense and the blocked active skills. So, boom. Whenever he gets a kill, by the way, he also gets a revive on that. So, that's how Vlad looks when he does his skills. And then we'll show you Constantine. Constantine, by the way, is a way harder hitter. So, he's built currently with a big Savage set. His A1, guys, has this. Attacks when enemy. Plays an extra hit if the target is under any debuff. I mean, that's crazy when you're looking for... You know those final finishing hits with the a1 and the enemy does have any kind of debuff then we have the a2 attacks all enemies two times each hit ignores 10 percent of the of each target's defense for every leech decrease defense and block active skills debuff they are under so if you have three debuffs on them so leech decrease defense block active skills they'll be um, receiving a ton more damage from you so 30 percent decrease um, ignore defense Plus the decreased defense amount that they have on them. It's going to be probably like 100% ignore if you also go Helm Smasher and it does proc. So you'll reach that point if you have everything, all conditions going. Then his A3 attacks one enemy before attacking, steals all buffs. Then transfers all debuffs from this champion to the target. Decrease the cooldown of Quietude. I don't even know how to pronounce this by two turns. If the attack kills an enemy so he doesn't get an extra turn or anything he just resets the cooldown of this basically on his next turn he'll have this again available and then his passive is only when vlad's on the team he can actually block the revive of certain champions from specific factions so undead hordes demon spawn night rev if they get killed by this guy and vlad's on the same team then they they have that combo going together so let's look at the a1 here very simple seventy-five thousand there um Remember, I did gear this guy properly, so his damage is going to be high. His A2 is going to be the AoE hitter. This hits a little bit lower, I think, than it should have. It should have hit a little bit higher. Um, so look at this. In the campaign, it hits for 42,000. So that, that's, not, that's not that high. Remember, this guy is built with a ton of gear. He's built with a ton of critical damage. Uh, I'll take you through his exact stats in a bit so now his a3 boom look at that this is a big big hitter but remember single target hitters cannot shine really in the arena at the moment uh because basically of the reaction gear going if if you see reaction gear basically negates any big damage nuker with a single target skill or you have to ensure that you go second and if you want to go second then it, it means that you need to be tanky so let me take you through his skills, um, his stats, basically, and masteries, which is basically just Helm Smasher and uh, all the damage masteries right there. Nothing too specific. I went the same way with Vlad, by the way, but instead of the defense tree, I went the accuracy tree for the extra accuracy. 
since he does apply tons of debuffs and a decreasing turn so i said i'll go uh, accuracy with him so constantine the dayborn 100 crit 179 speed 278 critical damage and 5000 attack so definitely very high stats savage gear like I, I try to do my best so let's go and see them in action in the arena together remember these are void champions one of them is a fusion so we should be able to get him fragment fusions are pretty much easier than all the other fusions that we usually have so here what i have is my um vlad going so he decreases the terminator of enemies and then my constantine should be able to go and do his damage okay um we'll see how that goes though we have tons tons of buffs on the enemy team so constantine is my nuker now let's see what he can do with the decreased defense we have a leech so he does get two of his three conditions and he's a double hitting champion so i'm expecting to take out at least one of them the shields look big but yeah we also have an increased defense so hmm it, it's gonna be tough it's gonna be tough okay very solid constantine is very solid but um i want to see vlad because he's the fusion champion constantine i'm not too worried about because what are the odds we get him okay what are the odds we get him and have vlad at the same time it's it's gonna be very difficult unless you're a big whale that you you'll be keep on just opening shards when uh constantine is released it's very hard for you to get him and probably you wouldn't use him over any other champion but i do like the block revive mechanic that they um, he has when both of them are together but it means that you'll need to sacrifice some kind of synergy that they have in order to have them both together so here maybe i would need to have kaimar instead and in, in order for, to have both of them in damage gear so i would need to have kaimar in order to sleep the enemies um, instead i only have madame seri so uh, let's do another test here against chosen uh he should be very fast here I don't think he's faster than me, but still, um, we'll do the decrease in Terminator. Remember, we have a conditional here. We can actually steal Terminator from Sacred Order and High Elves. So Arbiter and Lysandra should lose their Terminator here. That should be fun. So look at that. They they lost their Terminator. We actually got a we got a maxed out Terminator bar because we stole it. So I can go there with the A3. And because I will get a kill, I should get a um, revive on death and a boost in my own Terminator because of Constantine. So look at that boost in the Terminator. Look at how much Terminator he has. He took three turns and uh, Constantine has still not managed to get one. So now I should be able to take them out. I'll do the A3 here just to see on what kind of numbers we're looking at with a decreased defense. 163,000, nobody is surviving that. Um, I like them, I like them, but I don't know if I would replace them over my Trunda. Because remember the synergy you cannot easily have. But I am like liking the damage from Constantine. I really want to see the damage potential from Vlad on his own, on his own, not with um, Constantine in there. Because we're going to miss out almost half of his passive when Constantine is not in there. And right now Vlad is not built with damage. So solid potential. Let's just run them in, in dungeons with the same gear and see what they can do together. Let's just do Dragon 20. Um, let's just do decrease defense, increase attack, them two together. And yeah, I won't add anything else like a battle Khazar or something because that will just skew a little bit on how the testing goes so let's just try and apply the leech 20,000 30,000 not bad big defense we can come on will we ever get a turn with Constantine so I should be able to see the wave cleared here 100,000 80,000 very solid like um, I think they do this on purpose when they make release two champions and one of them is way stronger than the other one because of course the one is 
from a fusion and the other one is oh if you get lucky you get him sorry guys <laughs> so uh let me just go and re-gear vlad so i'll go away from having tons of speed and and this gear right now so i have him at 307 speed which is extreme but very low attack and very low crit damage i'll take it to a more reasonable for late game 250 100 percent crit and i'll try to get 200 speed with savage set and about 200 accuracy so i still think that you need accuracy regardless of if you're gonna go with this role so this role was more of a support role for constantine to be the killer in the team but now it's gonna be vlad the killer uh vlad's gonna be the the one that we need to test since he's gonna be the fusion and the one available to all of us all right guys i'm back with vlad okay i re-geared him with the more mm, reasonable gear so 319 accuracy that might be too high because I'm, I'm losing a little bit on crit damage 240 is not crazy uh 4.7k attack i mean if he had if he had a little bit of a bigger base in his attack then this would have been closer to 5k um speed is very good 202 and then we have an attack ring crit damage amulet so i could get some more accuracy there actually um accuracy banner here so i'm missing potentially like 300 accuracy here when it's maxed out so i will get though the maxed out glyphs because they do give us glyphs on the test server so i might as well just max them out i wouldn't do this on my main account like uh just for a video i wouldn't use my six star ones but the good thing is the test server just allows me to do this um i i should expect vlad here to provide way bigger new king capabilities compared to before so i'm not even to 5k i don't think i can push it on any of the gear the gear does have uh glyphs because this is like a copy of the gear that i have on my main account so okay let's go and see vlad here on his own um yeah let's just remove constantine there decrease defense we can it's not crazy to have decrease defense and we can at the moment within the game it used to be like a year and a half ago Having both of those debuffs on the enemies from a single champion was not an easy task. So, okay, let's see his A2 here. I expect... Okay, so we had like 200,000 uh, on together with both hits from Constantine. So this guy won't do it. It's a single target attack, unfortunately. Um, it does have the Terminator steal potential, so it's not that bad. Okay, so let's see what happens here not bad this is not bad i mean we couldn't take out the wave the whole wave but yeah let me just do this again because i i just saw the the health bars but i didn't really notice the numbers okay let's do an increase attack decrease defense we can all right let's do it again and helm smasher procs might give me a kill 125 137 yeah and, and look at his terminator by the way it's it's completely filled up so he's gonna go with the a3 now so just trying to think of the possibilities like it does give him that extra turn he goes in gets the kill gets rid of revive and death i mean if constantine was in there he would get also the terminator boost i am i am liking glad um yeah he he won't replace my account but on the free-to-play account that i do have guys I think Vlad's a solid champion, honestly. I look at the A1, 88k, not that bad, not that bad A1. Let's do the A2 here again on wave two. So with the Terminator Steel, that's actually pretty big because it almost gives me like a full Terminator bar, especially in dungeons. Look at that, look at that. But the bad thing is that he doesn't have another AOE attack to follow. So he has to go with a single target. So if you're looking at this kind of team against you with that amount of health bars, Vlad's not going to get the kill. So he won't benefit from the rebound death. Probably another member of your team will get the kill. So look at that. Wow. Wait, how did that hit 118 on the second hit? I have to see that, um, that skill again. So attacks by enemy two times the first hit has a... 75% chance of placing decreased defense. Yeah, but I did I did have a decreased defense on them already, right? 
So it's not that extreme. Oh, it did hit quite hard. I was really surprised by that one. Yeah, let's just do an A2 here. Get out of here. Go to the boss. Now I want to see the boss again and how much we would hit on Dragon. Decrease defense. Weaken. Let's do the A3. Boom, boom. 80,000, 60,000. Not bad. He does have, remember, he does have the leech on his A1. So I am liking the numbers that I'm seeing. Let's see. Boom. 100,000 there plus the decrease max HP. So if we put like a uh, blood shield accessory on him, the one that gives you shield, when you do damage, he can definitely solo the scarab, I would say, with his A, just with his A1. The potential to heal back up so much. Uh, let's see his damage on the A2 on the boss. 128k. Yeah, not bad. Not bad. It's not that I haven't seen higher numbers. But remember, I also run 300 or so accuracy. So that's that's actually useful for the Doom Tower as well. 98k, 112. Very, very strong single target. So he'll definitely have use for... for um, the mid game accounts he'll definitely have used not so much for the late game look at that we filled up to full um i wouldn't say it, it would change much on my main account but for all the other players out there who are just gonna see this fusion definitely go for it i, I wouldn't say ignore this fusion uh, if you're a late game player this fusion should be quite easy for you depending on your shards remember the shard amounts when we do these kind of fusions, it's it's all about the shard events. So the summoning event and the summoning tournament, it's all about those two. We don't know what's going to come with these two when the fusion starts tomorrow. But I do know for sure that, yeah, that that's when the fusions really, really depend on you putting your effort in there and holding on to your shards at the right time to open them to get the champion. Um, what's my final thoughts on Vlad? I think he's definitely worth it uh, to go for it. I'll go for it on my on both of my accounts. I think Vlad's going to be big for my Faction Wars on the free-to-play account because I'm still stuck on the Undead Hordes. Um, Constantine is just playtesting a champion. He looks like the guy who... Um, there's this TV show now going called... Uh, what is it called? The Boys? Yeah, he looks like the main character there. <laughs> so, it, so uh, yeah. Cool champion, but I mean, it's just like... If I got an account testing out CT, yeah, she's great. But when will I get her? Who knows? We have a 10x. I might pull some charts later today and post a video. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already. I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya.